What's up, Abe family? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. And I want to talk about today's price action and what it means in the larger scheme of things. Okay, we went up. Start of the day. We pushed up real good. I was feeling good and I was wondering, man, are we going to hit that 2175 first thing in the morning? Because that's where I figured it was going was for uh, 2175 or something like that I said yesterday. But anyway, we got up to 21, then we lost ground, tried to recover, pushed on down the rest of the day. Now, let me give you the narrative that people say, okay? When you're watching your other YouTubers, they're going to tell you that we had a run up in the morning and then they shorted the shit out of us for the rest of the day. You've heard this for a fucking year. That's what you're programmed for a year to believe. But as I've showed y'all, that if I copy these bar patterns and I look for the commonality in the past, then I find them just like I did right here. Here's a copy of December 17th to January 5th right there. All right, and I found this price action. I, I labeled it one. This price action was two. This price action took two days. It was three, four, repeated itself. That's when we found these. We said, wait a minute. If it repeated itself perfectly, then maybe it's done it again. And one repeated itself on the 17th of December and the 30th of December. Two repeated itself December 20th, December 29th. January 6th, and January 10th, okay? Three took two days to complete, but it only took one day here, one day here, and one day here. It repeated itself three times. Then four repeats itself perfect. Five makes this pattern, and it repeats itself on December 28th to 3rd of January. And what I'm doing is I'm looking at it today because... Once the W showed up, right here, we have this W. I showed that to y'all yesterday and what I anticipated. So, today's price action, we took a bars pattern copy and we went to looking. Very simple. It's a very simple procedure. It just takes so long. Let's use one right here. It's the same thing. We knew it wasn't this one. We can see it's not that one. not that one, it's not that one, it's not that one, and then until eventually we hit on this one. Now, when we get here and we see that we have a run up, push back down, try to recover down for the rest of the day, and that is going to be February 1st. It ran up. It got pushed back down, which is normal price action. It tried to recover, pushed back down, until at the end, it just went on down for the rest of the day. And here we are in the after hours. But it stayed true to the pattern. So, today's price action, it had nothing to do with Jerome Powell talking about the interest rate. It had nothing to do with Ukraine fixing to invade. It had nothing to do with none of that bullshit, people. Those are distractions. Distractions from the pattern. Anybody that has been looking at these uh, charts over an extended period of time know that these patterns are repeating themselves, and we just have to try to find where they're at. Now, where I messed up was I tried to give a three-day projection where I said, okay, well, if it was these two, this one, or this one, this one, and this one, let's take all three of them and try to get ahead of it. And it didn't work, so we're still working on that. But I just wanted y'all to see tonight that today's price action, people say, oh, yeah, we started off the day real good. Hallelujah. It ran up, and then we had a small pullback, and we tried to recover. But the shorts, they pushed us on down. No, 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 no. The shorts have, the hedge funds have nothing to do with this pattern. I've told y'all, they fight this pattern. They wasn't fighting it today because they like this kind of action. 
But it's not them pushing this price down, people. It's the computer. Look at this. It's the computer that's doing it. See how the perfect matches. Look at these two days. Look at how perfect they are. I mean, they're, they're exact duplicates of one another. Hedge funds have nothing to do with this. This took two days. That's why we could, we found that in two days, then it repeated itself right here in one. It sped up and did it in one. So no news controls this pattern. No hedge fund controls this pattern. Me and you buying cannot move this pattern. Them buying and selling does not move this pattern. This pattern is in operation. You say, well, wait a minute. If they short it, that doesn't mean this it doesn't control the computer program? No. Any, and I've told y'all this, any extra volume, be it from retail, be it from institutions, be it from the hedge funds that are trying to short it and everything, anything extra, if if they would have tried, if we would have came in and tried to buy 10 million shares all at once, this would not have spiked up, not unless the computer was already programmed to like this. If they're wanting to short it down here and they're shorting their ass off but the computer says go up, then the computer's going to go up. They're just going to ship any extra volume to the dark pool. And that's the reality of the world we're living in when we're dealing with AMC, GME, and almost every stock on the fucking uh, stock market is that it's controlled by this algorithm. And just real quick, and then I'll end it. Let's see, because I don't want to have to do another one. I'm really tired. I think it's stocks comparison. Let's see what happens with all the meme stocks today. I'm using TradingView. There's a link down below. This is their uh, comparison. You just click on this little plus bar right there. And you can get the comparisons of any stocks you want. And as we can see, AMC moved up. This one moved up. What is this? Green. Facebook went down. This one went up. This one was choppy. This one was choppy, but it had the same price action. Let's see. BBIG and Sundial had the exact same price action today. It had the same price action as AMC, actually. It ran. Well, no, because they had a blip up there. Blip there. We just ran and then curved down. So there's the comparisons. These two are running in parallel with one another. What is this purple? BBY ran in conjunction with COS and AMC today. What's looking for tomorrow? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I watched Chuck from Extreme Gains. I like his analogy too. We're he's figured it out. I'm in the process of figuring it out. I don't know why that offends him, but uh, because I like to try to watch it as it goes throughout the day. Tomorrow, what I'll be doing is I will see the first few price actions, and I will take my bars pattern, and I will move it over to see if it runs with it. If it does, well, then that'll give me an idea of where it might end. If it's not this one, well, then I'll compare it with this price action. We'll lay it right there, and we'll see if it follows that one. If we do, then before lunch, we ought to know by the end of the day where the stock would end. This works over and over and over again, people price actions so if I don't learn anything else from this I know that it's a computer that's running it and everybody says oh no but J Jerome Powell is going to say this and utilization's at 100 utilization's at 100 for a reason utilization's at a 100 or near 100 for a whole bunch of stocks but that's for another story so I hope y'all got a little bit out of this uh I believe we're pushing on up to 22. If we can break 20 tomorrow and get those puts out the money, that's a victory for the week. And we'll roll into next week, which is going to be amazing. 
But tomorrow might be amazing. We never know with this stuff. Love y'all.